Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. My name is Dr. Sayed Ghaus Haider, and I will be officiating the wedding of this great couple, Nate and Hina. <laughs> having been appraised of the lawful rights of the marriage in Islam and of the prohibitions and legal Im impediments thereunto as this marriage is legal and according to the lawful and divine ordinance of Almighty God. Be assured Nathaniel and Hina, that your union will be blessed by Almighty God. Amen. <laughs> Allah most gracious most merciful with his help and guidance with all my trust put in him with all my reliance invested in his grace with my sound conscious and awareness of the responsibility of marriage with my free choice and goodwill I Hannah Muhammad accept your solemn proposal to take me as your wife by virtue of divine laws and legal marriage according to the teachings of the Holy Quran in conformity with the inspired tradition of Muhammad the messenger of God with the enjoined on you by the law of God and accepted by you as you stated. While she was growing up, I think she was about two years old. What she used to do is she used to wait for her father to come from work and she used to grab a red veil and put it on her head, sit in the middle of the bed and tell me like I'm dad's bride. Okay, she did this every day till she was about two and a half years old. And uh, today the guy she has picked is so much like my husband. She asked for this. So, I'm confident that Nate will take care of her. Uh, I'm so blessed to have you as my son-in-law. Welcome to the family. Uh, I don't have anything else to say because I know she picked the right guy.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. Yeah. It's 10 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank you. You look wonderful too. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. families and all the wonderful friends and family are so blessed to be here uh, with us today. I am honored to help marry my older brother Nathaniel and my beautiful future sister-in-law Hina. Uh, we are all here to show our love and support for the couple. This is perhaps the most important moment in their lives and as witnesses to this moment it is also an important day for all of us as well. Writing these vows have been a struggle. Not because I don't know what to say, but because my love for you has grown so deep that my feelings have become difficult to articulate. Draft after draft, I've struggled. But then, last night, when I saw you dance, <laughs> I mean, I realized what it was within me that I needed to express. I realized that life is a dance and you don't want to dance alone because it's so much more fun with a partner. And I couldn't have found a better partner than you. It took some time for my planets to align. It has been a long, challenging, and at times confusing journey. There were times when I thought I would never find someone like you or even anyone at all. But I'm grateful that the universe took its time because I knew you were the right one for me from the moment I saw you on a Facebook invite. <laughs> and it was worth every minute I spent stalking your social media thereafter. <laughs> you are a woman of immeasurable beauty, charm, dedication, and grit. A lot of grit. <laughs> and your capacity for love and forgiveness, and boy, I do need a lot of that sometimes, <laughs> makes me feel like I've won the lady lottery. Hina, I love you so much, and one of the many reasons I love you is because I know you make me a better person. You're something better than a best friend. You are my equal in every way. You are my partner. I'm humbled nearly every day by how kind you are. You care for everyone in your life, not just your family or your friends. You have a heart of all the riches in the world, not just gold. 
You've taught me how to love unselfishly, and loving you is effortless. To you, I vow to do all I can to make the moments that make up our life cherishable through my love and dedication. I vow to always, always be there for you. I've wandered all over the country and all over the world, but nowhere felt like home until I met you. I have not known a moment in years when the sight of you did not send my heart careening against my ribcage. I have not known a night where your visage did not accompany me to sleep. And there has not been a morning when the idea of you did not flutter behind my waking eyelids. Nathaniel James, everything I have and everything I am is yours forever. You have my love eternally. Daniel, you made me very, very proud. For the first time in my life, I can honestly say you are a James boy. You are a James boy. Okay? You've earned that fourth generation title. You know, you're the man for the next. And like my grandfather said to me when I left India, it's your life, son. Go make a destiny out of it. It's your legacy you build. You got a life partner, build your own legacy. Do it in style just like the James boys do it. My life, my love, my henna. I have the utmost faith in your marriage, in part because henna is the most determined person I've ever met. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of grit, a lot of grit. Today, I am absolutely in awe of you. And when we became friends at the water cooler. That was the best decision I ever made. And so I'd like to raise a toast to the best decision Nathaniel's ever gonna make, Hina Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs>